for this one more time because I just want to show how awesome this co this prong collar is. So check it out. So this this is a small prong collar, right? This Dolby is four months old, so it's you know small small collar. But look how safe. Look at the safety mechanisms on this thing. We have this here, right? And this slides, right? Slide all the way off, I guess. Yeah. But when we clip it in, right? There's there's awesome safety feature here. Let me try and do this. See this right here? It plugs it plugs in here, and then you can cover. It. You know that's just so safe. You know that's what I'm talking about, man. You know, as it as with every prong, I would always suggest making sure that these are bent in, because these always have a tendency to slide off, no matter what prong you use. So you always want to make sure you bend the ends in. You can even use pliers with some of the more strong ones. This way it doesn't slip off. But look at this. Boom. 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 I mean, for the layman, that's awesome. Because the layman always, <laughs> the layman always has trouble taking it off this way. You know, which is the original way to take it off. And that, and that produces a lot of problems for the layman. If, you know. Timing is important, you know, safety is always important. So this is just awesome. I would recommend anyone who has a prong and has difficulty working with the prong, just check it out. Slide, click, uh, click, and then bang, right? It works like a belt buckle, basically. But on top of that buckle, you have a safety like this right there. So it's such a beautiful, and then this is cloth right here, right? It's a beautiful collar. It's the Springer, made in Germany. I highly suggest this collar. So. What do you think? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna play some tug. Let's go get some tug going now. Alright. Definitely take them off the prong if we're gonna play some tug. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Sometimes it's closed off, so I always have to double check. No, no, no. I know you wanna be the main character. Come here. Just my this is my second week with him, so look how tired he is. Yes. Good, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's so tired. And this isn't really a laughing matter for a puppy to let, let, let go of something. It's probably one of the most serious things. Good. Pull the dog in and pet the butt, the stomach, all the parts of the body so they feel comfortable with that type of thing. Good. Nice. Easy 
good dog. Who's a good dog? Who's a good trainer? Me? Or are you a good dog? <laughs> He's so cute when he's tired. He's always cute, but he's especially cute when he's tired. Here's your ring. Uh, I know. Alright, I'll work with you. See, he gets a little. Nice, very good, very good. Just my second week with it. But it's easier with the puppy for them to align. When you work on alignment with the older dog, it takes a while. Puppies align right away. Look how quick that is. That's really good, man. It's really good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> This is really important, holding him like this. You can see how he's biting my hands, right? You, you just sort of have to ignore it. You can't let it happen, but you also can't really discipline him for it because he has no concept of... That, that's a more complicated issue. It's just something that if you don't understand, then you probably never understand. But. Ready? Hey. <laughs> Ready? Good. Yeah, very good, very good. So sit and eye contact is really, you know, eye contact is better than a sit, of course. But, <laughs> but look at this. He's really, he's really good. Come, nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is Wotan. Okay, I just wanted to show you. For the this is all information for the layman. See my hand. See my hand right here. This is why these chain leashes can be very dangerous. They can actually break your fingers. Now I have experience, so I can sort of get around it. But for you guys at home watching this, you don't have a lot of experience. These are not really the best leashes. I'm using it because I can get away with it again because I have experience. But you can get yourself in a world of hurt with these things. So. All right. So just normal positioning. Holding the head up. See, see, he's, see, see, now he's getting a little aggravated. It's really important just to keep your cool. Pet him, change the association, right? And if he nibbles on my hand a little bit, it's fine. It's not, this is just puppy stuff. Again, he needs to bite something, so. Just wanna, yeah, see, he's gonna be reacting a little bit. We gotta find a way to touch him so he doesn't push. Okay. What we're gonna do here is just hold this collar up. You gotta have patience. Patience is a big deal. You know, if, the, if that type of thing gets you excited or bothers you, you should not be working with the dog. Because there's sometimes you just gotta let stuff go, and then there's sometimes you gotta act. Understanding when those times are really important. That was really good, man. That was sick. The point, the reason why that was so good is because I'm on the floor now. It's very easy for dogs to get things when you're on the floor. Not for me, because again, I have experience so I can sort of get around that whole situation. But for him to give me eye contact that quickly is what I'm talking about. Because remember, his option right there could have been just to go straight for the toy, but he didn't choose that option. Now, does he 